met the show ponies of the Ultimate Rugby Week, the thoroughbreds, if you will. But Hong Kong's Ultimate Rugby Week is so much more than that. Five tournaments more, in fact. But there is a common thread. I used a tidy little chariot to get around the city to meet a few faces on and off the paddocks. First up, the yearlings. You see it as soon as you have the overseas teams here. Everybody starts to mix and mingle as soon as the competition is over. Uh, everybody goes inside, have lunch together, and there's a very good camaraderie. Would you be able to ask a few questions around here for me and do okay. my job? What do I have to do? You are going to go, let's go find a boy. Okay. And find out who their favorite rugby player is. That's okay. Who they look up to. Sweet. To my brother. Oh, sure. <laughs> let's go. I have an interview. <laughs> your favorite rugby player and who do you look up to? Johnny Wilkinson. <laughs> Alright, hi mom. <laughs> yeah, among us. From the Falls and Phillies. To the players who have been put out to pasture. <laughs> rugby is d designed for all shapes and sizes and this tournament just epitomizes that. Because if you look around, yeah, there's old, young, there's fat, there's thin, there's fast, there's slow. That's what rugby's all about. Yeah, yeah. What sort of training did you guys do coming into this? Uh, we normally drink loads of beer, mm. uh, fish and chips, yep. and we go for a bit of a walk, yep. catch a few butterflies. Yeah. It's pretty hard, intense stuff really. Yeah. Can you and imagine? No, I can't Can you? imagine that sort of strife. <laughs> Oh, I hate that noise. Sure. He's got a new fishing hat. <laughs> you, fishing, you can't go fishing in there. Yeah, well, you can. You yeah, can do whatever you want. <laughs> so I went from the pasture back to the racetrack, where I wandered into the well-dressed crowd. It would be Jason Robinson and Jeremy Guskett, because they look like me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> I'm no, out. No, I'm out. No, no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get past your head. You never know whether to give the bum or the crotch. <laughs> Tell us one thing about your dad, about Bill McLaren, that we wouldn't know. Um, he used to drive his car in his stocking soles. How about that one? <laughs> Good stuff. Bill McLaren, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's been really cool for me. I've seen a whole bunch of different tournaments this week. Mm -hmm. And whether people are fancy dressed, drinking wine, or drinking oh, beer. Well, you're good dressed. <laughs> it's, there's a camaraderie and there's a commonality with everybody. And it's oh, there definitely is. Yes, I think rugby's unique in that sense. I think it, it does bring people together and you can just see round about. Whether, whether you're having a, a, a pint of beer or whether you're stone cold sober, it's fun anyway. It's not just serious athletes getting hurt. Come closer. <laughs> Get a close up on that one. Not even remotely serious. <laughs> my eyes are my best feature, I feel. <laughs> you look tough. <laughs> what hurts? My finger. Because everywhere I touch it hurts. <laughs> yep, the rugby crowd is a rugby family. And everyone knows you don't pick your family. Do you know something that was a lovely sight, wasn't it? You think she'll give me a kiss on camera? That is going to take me years. She's going to give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> Bet you love them.